Hi, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Gemini. And we can take a look at the cards and get a sense of the insight and information for you for May. And so let's just go ahead and get started. So we have the King of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Sun, Major Arcana. So the King of Pentacles, here this finely dressed king is sitting on his throne and boy does he, he has everything that he needs. He has abundance around him. It looks like he has grapes. Uh, he has his big pentacle coin on his lap and um, what he has most of all is experience and he has expertise in securing a financial foundation and building businesses and making good decisions, common sense decisions. He may not be the most exciting king. He may be pretty steadfast and, and a hard worker and a good benevolent leader, but his energy is one of success and he enjoys the fruit of his success, of his, the fruit of his work. I think that's what I'm trying to say is that he is able to um, enjoy the result and the reward of what he's put into his life. And so the King of Pentacles is about practical a practical approach, common sense, um, thinking about things before you say or you do them, simply a, someone who's a planner, someone who is fair-minded and is not going to be uh, perhaps too out there for want of a better word. But the King of Pentacles is just this solid, steady, dependable type of energy that either you would benefit from or that there's someone within your circle that you could go to for advice, for counsel. Uh, he's managed to, to get the things that he wants and needs. And he can be of service to others with his knowledge and with his experience experience and mastery as well related to career and money and things that um, you know uh, perhaps go to our our goals you know to have security to have some sense of security to have some sense of a small things of of what we want within a home or within a family so along with the King of Pentacles, here we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is this woman here, and she also is in her walled garden with the pentacles on the wall here, and she is finely dressed, and you get a sense here that she also is uh, reaping the reward of hard work, of sacrifice, of making smart decisions being independent and so between the two of these this this is a uh, a real solid foundation when it comes to maybe saving a little bit of money uh, investing or at least thinking about the future how to improve where you are you know how to improve and make it a a um, a better day for yourself if you're trying to um, maybe pay down some debt or to save for a future spending event you know maybe there's a concert maybe there's a vacation you know if you follow the approach of these two pentacle cards the nine of pentacles which is this independent woman here who is enjoying what she's earned she has her bird on her hand and she's um you know all work and no play is uh, not so good. So the between the king and this and the nine of pentacles, here we have we have success. 
and its success um, and finding comfort in that success and um, abundance. So here is the Sun card and in, interestingly enough in this Sun illustration you see two people riding the horse holding the wand or the the banner the red banner signifying passion the sun glowing and uh, kind of overseeing everything and that's the sun is our life force it represents vitality energy radiance um, it sparks creativity and it and it um, I think it helps our confidence as well that when we are with the sun we feel it glowing within us it lights us up we are able to uh, share that light with others but the sun is a great card because the sun is about happiness it is about abundance and joy and having good relationships whether they are romantic or platonic successful relationships happiness within your life carefree wonder of, uh, of your approach for the day is to have some fun have some fun and you know as I look through this it's like you know we we spend so much time working and we work very hard to pay the bills to meet our obligations to have a purpose in life but there's also this sense here of have some fun of uh, you know enjoy what you're working for and make it a point to enjoy what you're working for be creative be uh, proactive in doing the things that make you feel happy that coupled with hard work and smarts and common sense can take you a long way and so when I look at this I see the driving pentacle energy which is to be cautious to a degree to be observant to be hardworking steady and you know perhaps having future goals and working toward them with a plan and just using good common sense and on Tuesday you know here's the Sun have some fun on Tuesday enjoy what the Sun brings to you feel good about yourself feel good about your relationships feel good about um, uh, the light that you have within and be confident so number wise let's see we have 19 and 9 is uh, 28 and 28 and in one is um, 29 and that's 11 11 is a master number it's the master number of service of being altrui altruistic being generous and um, you know showing compassion for others to be of service not only can you help someone you could help someone by doing something by supporting them with a phone call with a visit it always doesn't have to be uh, financial it can be time time is of service as well and so when you are of service to others people notice that and it may inspire them to try to do more to help those around so to close the reading I'm going to choose uh, an oracle card and we will get a sense of what is happening turn that around new love embrace this new opportunity of love that is here this may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual spiritual growth so yes we can love our work we can love our purpose and you know I tend to think that the nine of Pentacles 
has loved or enjoyed what she has uh, been working toward in order to build the security that she has and the comfort that she has. Perhaps the king too. Although I think that the king probably has the goal of building security and probably loves what he does, but may be just more practical to say, well, you know, I can tolerate this and I can keep working to get where I need to go. Um, pentacles are incredibly grounded and will you, you, they'll do what they need to do in order to get to where they want to go. And there's a plan. So I hope that you find something helpful here with this reading. If you did today, then please subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a comment, do a thumbs up and come back again tomorrow for another reading. Bye-bye.